select group of Perth students is bringing Indigenous stories to life through augmented reality. It's allowing stories shared by elders to be explored in a whole new way. For Noongar elder Kelvin Garland, traditional stories were told to him through words. But with the help of these students, he's seen them come to life in the digital world. The Waggle of a Rainbow Sim is recreated of all land, hills and water in Perth. We've known about that we, since we were kids, seeing me and uh, to actually see it on a, on a screen and uh, the students done really well. Mr Garlett was one of three elders invited to share traditional stories with students from Governor Stirling Senior High so they could be translated into augmented reality, moving 3D pictures. We thought that we were pretty smart, but I think that the animals, they know too, you know, and they work out a way out to uh, survive. The program in digital schools was developed by Canberra-based Indigenous woman Michaela Jade, swapping her day job as a park ranger for the world of technology. When I saw augmented reality, the idea came to me, like, what if you could put our phones up and then our peoples could tell our stories in our language um, to people that were being invited to visit these places? Specialist art students, as well as Indigenous students from the Follow the Dream program, used a variety of software to create the digital worlds. The Follow the Dream kids uh, had a chance to really learn from the arts media kids in terms of tech and Follow the Dream kids had a great chance to put in some uh, cultural perspectives. It was good so like other people and like, other races could understand how our ancestors and you know us now, how we like, how we believe uh, how Australia was made. Teachers say the program has created a new way of engaging with Indigenous stories. As an educator, this is the first time I've been able to work with uh, new tech, um, cultural engagement for, uh, of our first Australian's um, history uh, off the book. I liked hearing the text, like the stories from the elders, because they were like very interesting, and I, I learned a lot about the Aboriginal cultures. For students, teachers, and elders to see the final product here at Governor Stirling Senior High School, simply a matter of opening the app on a phone scanning a QR code and pointing the phone towards a flat surface so the world can generate in front of you. After a successful pilot, the program is being introduced to more schools around the country. Jessica Warriner, ABC News.